Good morning, my dudes. I hope you kept up with the lessons until today, because now we're gonna continue where we left it yesterday. That means we tackle foreshortening. It's a relatively small thing, but something you definitely want to have in your artistic repertoire. It's basically when you have something in perspective, and it looks much shorter than usual, and depending on your chosen perspective, it also can get much larger or smaller at one end. Also, most of the time, foreshortened things will overlap other things. In your drawings. So basically, you already foreshortened while practicing one, two, and three point perspective a few days ago. The thing is, there's not super much to explain about the process of foreshortening. I recommend to, well, start like you did, with some cubes and spheres and triangles, just simple volumes that you can draw without needing much reference. If you can draw them just from imagination, then you should move on to some more advanced stuff. Something like making a simple mannequin doll in perspective. You will already have some cylinders and spheres overlapping each other when drawing a simple mannequin doll, even without the muscle groups. What angle and how much perspective perspective you want to use is up to you. If that's easily done, then move on and add the muscle groups as details. That's it for today. Have fun and happy drawing.